what's going on everybody welcome back jacked up fishing well if you've been following my jumbo build you know that i put a deck in it already i've also put a floor in it a burn bar i've gotten it ready and today's an exciting day i get to paint it so here it is today i've already been prepping on it i gotta do a little bit more sanding but it's almost ready to go i'm gonna do finish the sanding off then i'm gonna tape everything off and i'm gonna show you the paint i'm gonna use so here we go so with an electric orbital sander, I'm using 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just sanding everything. I'm going to coat this whole boat and I want to get a good bite. So I want to sand it all, make sure it's prepped really well. And I'm using a special John boat paint that I'm going to show you here shortly. So this is the biggest part, the floor. Doing around the burn bar and all that and that's where I'm going to speed it up for you guys. So I got the side sanded, the floor, pretty much all of it sanded. I'm cleaning all the leaves out, get it all clean. Then I'm going to blow it a few times with the blower and uh, get it cleaned out. Get everything out that we don't want in there. And I'm just touching up a few spots I've seen that I needed to sand. Last little finishing touches. We're going to be off to the races. Okay, whew, I'm done sanding. So now I got it all sanded down and it's pretty much ready to go i'm not going into too much detail it is a john boat and we all know john boats you know it's not perfect but uh and i'm going to use it pretty rough like a john boat so um but it'll look good it'll look good i'm going to go ahead and get the, everything cleaned up and then i'm going to get ready for paint start taping everything off start plasticking the engine the engine i cannot take the engine off right now because uh, when i bought it i noticed this was broke off it is in there it is locked up in there so i'm just going to tape around the engine i got the engine all tuned up the other day it's ready to go and i'm ready to start rigging this thing up for some gigging anyway let me go ahead and get this all cleaned up blown out taped off and we're gonna get to it So I got all the boat prepped, sanded, and covered where I needed it to be covered. I, I can't cover the whole trailer, of course, but it's all sanded and ready to go. I just gotta do a final wipe right before I spray, but this is what I'm gonna use, guys. I'm using the Seahawk. Um, it's called Aquahawk. It's made for John boats. It's real thick material, and I'm using an old crappy gun that I had. It's a Binks Model 7. Um, and you can thin it up to 10%, it says, with the MEK. I've heard of people doing a little bit more, but I'm gonna stick with the 10%, see how it shoots first, and go from there. Also, I have two air hoses coming from my compressor. Water is not your friend when you're painting. So the main thing is, that if you can filter out any water, it's gonna help you a lot. I have one of these motor guards, it's called the M30. I put it in line and between two hoses. And, and it's pretty much a toilet paper roll inside there. It dries the air really good. So you don't have any water. It causes fish eye and stuff like that and reactions. So, all right. So let me go ahead, get to mixing this paint up, see if I can't get a good spray pattern, and then we'll get to shooting this thing. So when you pop the top on the paint, it is really thick at the bottom. It's going to take a lot of stirring. So I'm going to sit here, get it all mixed up really well. And it is super thick. I can't even explain how thick it is. I don't even see how I could shoot it out of a gun. So it's definitely going to take some thinning with that MEK. All right, so got it all mixed up. So now I'm going to pour it into a little bucket, a little paint bucket here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the MEK. And that's what it's calling for to thin it. I've never thinned anything out with MEK. Usually I use like a certain reducer or something to kind of uh, thin the paint out. And it all depends on what the temperature is where you're at. So you see I poured a little bit of MEK in there. Not much. I didn't even do 10%, I don't think. And I just turned it along, man. It really is a weird reaction. It's kind of like you're mixing up sugar in a, in a solution. It's just you're really trying to thin it out. So to me, it's looking a little watered down. So I 
decided to go ahead and put a little bit more paint in there because it just seems like it's really just a watery solution. It's kind of odd. But anyway, I put a little bit more paint. We mix it up and uh, we'll see what it shoots like. All right, so I got the gun set up. The main thing you want to see is it's spraying a decent pattern, which I had to switch guns. So it's using an old Craftsman gun now. My other one was kind of stopped up. I didn't feel like messing with it. So I got this old Craftsman gun. It doesn't seem to put out a big pattern, but it's good enough, see? That's how you test it, just grab some cardboard. All right, I'm gonna jump up in the boat, try to get some of this inside done first. Let's see how it goes. So I'm starting off with a really light coat. I want a really good bind on this. I want it to bind to that aluminum really well. So I'm just shooting like a really, like kind of like a dust coat, if you will. And I'm just going to go over the whole boat with this dust coat and then come back and do a second coat. Now I'm just putting a light coat on right now and then I'll come back and give it to it later. I want to get a good bind. So I'm just doing just a light coat. So I'm just shooting the whole front deck right now. I'm trying to overlap around 50%. Uh, on the spray pattern and I'm just doing like a light coat trying to get that bind like I stated earlier and see how it goes um, I'm not familiar with this paint so it's uh, kind of a weird and a learning experience for me as well so let's see how it comes out all right I'm gonna put this camera down start going to it So I wasn't too happy with the way it was shooting, so I went and got the old handy dandy Harbor Freight gun out. Hopefully it works. Let me get the mix and see if it does any better. Well, the cheap Harbor Freight gun actually did better. Started getting it pretty good. Started laying it down a lot better. As you can see, it's a nice wet coat on that one side. I'm changing the cup out now. I just started going with it. But uh, seems to be coming out pretty good. Let me mix up another cup and we'll get going. All right, here's the new gun. It sprays nice, buddy. I'm just going to get a quick coat on the whole thing real quick and then come back. So I'm not going to lie, this paint is not laying down like I like it to. It just doesn't look like I want it to look. I'm not too happy. It looks like it's going on good here. But if you really look fine at it, it really looks really closely. It's putting like a little texture on the, on the actual boat. I don't know if it's from the heat uh, being so hot out or not enough thinning agent, but something's going on. But I'm just going with it right now to try to get it all one color, and I'll come back and see how it works. Starting to look pretty good now. So now I'm just kind of going over the whole boat again, trying to get a nice wet coat. It's really tough with this one. As you can see, it's kind of blotchy in certain areas, and I keep going over them, but it's throwing out like a, um, like a, almost like a sand finish on some of the places. It's really odd, it's kind of bugging me, but I'm just going over and going with it for right now to see how it comes out. Well, I think that is it. Whew, buddy, she's green. So I'm just gonna use the rest of this paint up, hitting little spots I see, and I'm done. I'm gonna go clean up. I'll show you afterwards. 
So now I'm painting the light railing. I just want to make sure I get a good coat all the way around. Bars are usually harder to paint. You, you waste a lot of paint because you're only hitting a certain amount of the bar and the rest is just going out into the air. Get a nice good coat on this because it's going to be used a lot. So uh, that's very important. So the good thing about these Harbor Freight guns, you can buy them for like $13.95 on sale. Um, I usually buy a couple of them because I use them. This is about my third time using this one. Um, and the good thing about it is it's disposable. Um, like I said, it's only $13.95. I've used it three times and it's pretty, you know, I ran all that nasty paint through there in the garbage. So good thing about it, put it in the trash. You have an extra one on hand. And if you do a lot of painting like I do, it's always good to have an extra backup. Now I have a good gun that I use for automotive and paint spraying, but it's locked away with solvent in it. I take good care of it. I got a cleaning kit, but it's not a $13 gun. It's like a $260 gun. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go clean up everything and I'll be back out, let that stuff dry a little bit, see if it evens out and then we'll get back with So after the paint cured, I didn't like the way it came out. So I bought another gallon and I shot it again. This is the second time I painted it. I did not like the way it came out at all. So I decided to move ahead. I'm tired of messing with this paint and it's got two coats of this thick paint on there already. So my decision was to go ahead, go grab a couple small palm proms off a of palm and grab out the old camo colors. So doing the camo color on the outside isn't really what I wanted to do, but at the end of the day, I needed to move forward. Gigging season's coming up. It's right around the corner of the fall, winter season. Starts in October for us guys over here on the East Coast, for commercial guys, and uh, I need to be ready. I've been working on this thing a long time, so it's time to go. Now I've done this before on another John boat I had a while back and it came out pretty decent. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the beige camo paint, it's just Rust-Oleum beige, taking a palm from and just kind of dusting it around the palm from leaves there as you can see and I'll show you as I get closer how it's coming out but it's just pretty much breaking up the pattern uh, there was some blotchy spots on there I didn't like and I just wanted it to look a little better so here you can see me working the whole palm from all the way down the boat it's just giving it a broken up pattern like a kind of like a dust pattern of a palm from now I'm coming back with a straight PVC pipe or a pole of some sort with the flat black. And what I'm doing is just a non-uniform pattern with the pole. What it does is it just coats each side of the pole and it leaves like a stripe of the other pattern underneath. And you'll see as I get closer how it comes out. Now I know this is a pretty uh, basic way of doing camo and there's a lot better ways they even have stencils on Amazon or eBay that you can buy and do this kind of pattern or any pattern for that matter so go check them out I'm just trying to do it quick easy and uh, kind of a backyard project and try to make it look halfway decent well I finally got the boat painted I actually went through a couple gallons of the Seahawk paint I didn't really like the way it shot it didn't shoot too well at all. I painted it one time, came out really rough, didn't come out of the gun very well. I adjusted everything and I've shot a lot of paint in my day, but it just didn't come out well. I went and shot it again, ordered another gallon, sanded it back down, shot it again. It still came out rough. I went ahead, started uh, doing the old camo method. It actually did not come out too bad. Here's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like right here. That's the finished product. It's all camoed out. All I did was take a palm from, put the beige on there, and then I took a stick or a PVC pipe and kind of did the uh, stripes up and down. But it came out pretty good. Um, the paint, really tough to work with. I'm doing C-Deck all up in here. I already have it, and that's the next project on here. 
but it came out okay i'm not too thrilled with it actually it's kind of one of my uh regrets a little bit is using that paint but oh well it is what it is it's a john boat um but it does look pretty good so i'm not i'm not terribly upset about it but that's it it is so far next up on the the list we're gonna do some sea deck start rigging it out i'm ready to get gigging all right well that's it on this video hope you all liked it i would think twice before using the seahawk paint that's for sure i would try to use maybe total boat or even just a rattle can man but uh it actually came out okay this stuff is tough i'll tell you that but uh that's all i got for you on this episode and i'll see you on the next one when we do sea deck i'm gonna do some flooring i'm gonna seal up the sides and uh that's pretty much it all right thanks for watching if you haven't yet hit that like and subscribe button and also i have the other videos of the john boat build right up here i'll put it for you and uh we'll see you on the next one jacked up out